Hey friends, we are Joey and Tasha, and last week we left you at Williams Fork Reservoir. After leaving Williams Fork, we set off towards Land's Inn in Grand Mesa, Colorado. We saw Glenwood Canyon and tons of other beautiful views along the drive. When we arrived at our camp, we found almost all campsites were already taken. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. So this is not really our planned camp spot. Uh, we're kind of camping in a pull-off tonight because I didn't realize how popular this place was going to be. It's kind of short-sighted on my end since it is a weekend. Um, I just didn't realize, I kind of thought this was kind of way out there and I just didn't expect a lot of people to be up here. I expected at least one spot to be free. Um, we don't want to drive too much further from our planned site because we have service here and Tasha needs to do some work. So today we're kind of just camping on this pole out, which from what I read is allowed because it's national forest land and you can basically camp anywhere as long as it doesn't say no camping. So that's what we're dealing with today. You can't plan for these things sometimes. Well, Joey's like, I'm just gonna get on the e-bike and drive down there and ask how long they're gonna stay. And you know, and they said that they wouldn't mind if we like share the camp spot with them. They have two dogs that are also off leash. I feel like I'm going a little rambly right now. Our dogs are fine with other dogs as long as the dogs aren't like super in their face and like jumpy. No, I'm like a little worried. No, I just feel like, I feel like we drove all this way and it didn't really turn out, but maybe there's still a chance for, I mean, the view is great. I sound ungrateful, I don't mean to. Anyway, we're gonna go share this camp spot and see how it goes. We settled into camp, introduced the dogs to each other, and then we chilled by the ledge and enjoyed an amazing sunset. For so many people, it's already, like the sun had probably set before we saw it set. Right, I feel, I feel like we were one of the last people to see the sunset this evening. Absolutely. And what a freaking joy that this campsite faces directly west. Absolutely breathtaking. I would highly recommend that anyone come here. As you can see, the spot was very large and had plenty of room for both of us to comfortably camp. Huge shout out to our neighbors for sharing the spot with us. Okay guys, so it's been a long day. I think that's going to be it for us tonight, but we'll see you in the morning. We were supposed to head to Utah today, but we've decided with such a beautiful view that you're just not going to get it probably anywhere in Utah that we're gonna go ahead and just stay here for a couple more days and see the Perseid meteor shower. That was the reason we were heading to Utah. Yeah. So today uh, we're getting lots of solar power here. So we're kind of doing our bi-weekly recharge. So we've got our e-bike battery charging. We've got our toothbrushes charging. You know, all those things that we plug into the wall, we charge during these times because that is the most inefficient things we have and the highest loads that we have, I guess you could say. We're also gonna grind up some coffee for the next couple weeks here shortly. The most essential thing. The most essential thing. Daily latte. Daily latte. <laughs> well, we just met our new neighbors. We really have like the best spot on this campsite. Um, and we were really fortunate because the people who were here before us shared the spot with us. So we wanted to pay it forward and we're gonna share the spot with our new neighbors. So everyone can enjoy the view. And sorry for the crazy face, I'm like about to sneeze. <laughs> I'm like struggling. <laughs> Somehow, I popped the e-bike tire yesterday. Luckily, I carry a spare tube. The main reason is probably because I didn't reinstall these tire liners. So we're gonna knock this out real quick so that me and Tasha can ride the e-bike. I accidentally reinstalled the tire backwards and then I had to start over, but I did eventually get both the liners and tires reinstalled. Hello vlog and welcome to the Red Knight special. <laughs> oh god, that sounds awful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So guys, it's like 2 in the morning. Uh, Tasha and I have gone up to go and we've suited up. We're gonna go watch the meteor shower tonight. Layers on, layers on, because we're... It's uh, cold, okay? I mean, it might not be cold to locals, but it's cold to me. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty chilly. There's like a constant breeze at night since we're on the edge of a mountain, so... I really wish we had some uh, schmancy fancy equipment. We could really show you guys some cool video of the meteor shower, but unfortunately we don't. Maybe we'll get some cool pictures. If we do, overlaid. we'll overlay them here. Yeah. After watching the meteor shower, we went to sleep and the next day I knocked out a bunch of our chores. 
I added two inches of foam to our e-bike seat. Eventually we'll staple new fabric over the whole thing. So guys, next up on my list is to repair a chip I found in the windshield. I've got a little Rain-X uh, chip repair kit and it's got some really detailed instructions. into the resin chamber and what that does is it pushes the resin down into the crack on this side of so basically all the resin will scrape off the part that's not chipped and it should leave a mostly even little resin filled piece inside where the chip was almost like it looked better before I scraped it off I don't know but it's definitely filled in I can't feel it with my finger now so that'll fix it that will prevent any cracks, which is really what we're trying to do. I don't care if there's like a little imperfection in the windshield. So we're about to go to the waterfall that we found yesterday. Hello friends, don't judge my pulled up shorts. <laughs> and it's honestly deep enough that like, I could wait around a little bit, but I'm not set for that. Look at that. This doesn't even compare to Holly Creek. So Joey just fell in the water. Yeah, I slipped on a rock, so now I'm like, well, you're already wet, you might as well swim. Ooh. Oh, is it cold? Yeah. We're about to go do that. about this little stream. So basically it acts as like a water reservoir and it's actually from a snow cap that freezes over in the winter time and then melts in the spring and summer and provides water to Grand Junction. So Grand Junction has like made a deal with government officials and private landowners to like use this water. It's pretty neat, the more you know. Unfortunately, after getting back to the van, I checked our credit card statement and found $400 of fraudulent charges. And then the next day, I found another $300 of fraudulent charges on our debit card statement. So we had to make a bunch of calls and get it all sorted and also figure out where we could ship new cards. Yeah, I have it. I'm guessing that it got the card details got swiped at a pump because that's really the only place I've been using it is at gas pumps lately. Okay. So we have the van clean, we've got everything hooked and ready to go, and we're about to leave this really amazing spot. This is definitely a place that we're gonna have to visit again. You know, oh, it's not like every day that you find a camp spot that has like an incredible view, the Milky Way at night, a waterfall, a swimming hole, I mean, it's just, it's got everything, you know? Like, at what point do I buy land here? But I can't stay forever. So we're about to be back on the road. All right, friends, that's it for this week's video. If you got any value or enjoyed our journey, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you for watching.